We must reject, this is so critical, we must reject any notion of self-atonement, any notion of self-atonement. If you ask me, what is the greatest mistake that many people make when it comes to coming before God in prayer, it is this. They look at their lives and they try to find some reason why God should accept them. So they're looking, they say, Lord, you ought to really receive me today because I had a warm time in my devotions. Lord, you ought to really receive me because um, I'm not as bad as other people. You know what so-and-so did, Lord? Now that I can really understand, but I'm, I'm better than that. And Lord, you know that I'm trying and I'm giving. You know, like one guy on a plane said to me, you know what my big fear is when I stand before God? I said, what is it? He said, I fear standing behind Mother Teresa in the day of judgment and overhearing the Lord say, now lady, I think you could have done more. In other words, what does God demand? What must I do to finally receive his complete approval? So many people say, well, you know, I hate myself. I, I cut my wrists. I, I do all these things because I am so full of self-hatred, believing that lie, of course. I, I need to suffer. I just can't receive God's grace because I expect to suffer. I deserve to suffer. And that's what I expect. The answer is this, my dear friend. Suffering happens. I understand it. But what you must do is to realize that all that is nothing. God says, when I see the blood, when I see the blood, I'll accept you. When you trust the blood of Christ, that is the basis of my acceptance. And I don't only accept you, but I elevate you as a child of God, as a daughter of God, and a son of God. And Someday you're going to be an heir of God and a joint heir with my blessed son because if you receive what I did for you, you will be saved.